So here we are working on animations like that, animations like this. I want to show you all tricks that are necessary to do this, so stay tuned and let's go. Hello and welcome in this tutorial, where I want to show you how to animate text word by word or letter by letter. So I'll select the text right away, I have the text prepared. I will go to animations and if I open my animations, I have the brush color and font color effect. We rarely use those effects, but here, here they are brush color and font color. It is better to use font color because it has a few more options. And watch what happens. The text turns into one other color. What can we do with this animation? Actually, pretty much. If we double click on this animation, if we go to its effects options, we have animate text. This is nothing new because we can animate by word or by letter. Let me select by word. Let's say that this will make it kind of Mm, readable for people. I'll make 5 seconds, 5% 5 delay between words, so they don't be so quick, and I'll select OK. Don't grow up, it's a trap. Now, let's imagine that you want people to read this, it would be difficult because it fades between the entire text. But I said to you that we have plenty of options here. If we double click here, if we go to the effects, we have style at least in this version of PowerPoint. In this style, we have not only the fade styles, those three are very similar, it's just about coloristics, but we have also the first style. I'm calling this the blocky style, and if we select the blocky style, we have something like seconds delay between words, so let me make it one second of delay, and now if I hit OK, don't grow up exclamation mark it's a trap one second after one second each word would pop up so this would be kind of more of a mm, animation suited for karaoke or for reading by people you can see the animation did turn to something like this and this is very specific because if it's like that it only appears if we select the blocky style the entire color style this way we get this kind of animation. The only thing is, and I am not sure that this is the same way in each PowerPoint version, if I select the duration now, for example, I would like to dim those behind them. If I select duration, for example, to one second again, I will play it from, don't, you see, it disappears. So it is like jumping from word to word. So depending on which style you want, you can either select the duration, or if you do not want a style like this, you can double click here, you can go to effects, and you can again click on the blocky style, select OK, and it will again turn this full animation, and they will not disappear after the animation has ended. Very interesting, very cool effect, and I'm happy that we are able to do something like this here. The last thing you can, for example, do here, I would like this text this text and this text to be separate. I want to click my mouse and show people read this, read this and then read this. So we do not have to make three objects. We can double click on the animation. We can go to its text animation options and we can group them differently because normally text is grouped as one big object. It's kind of obvious, but we can open this and we can um, group this by first level paragraphs. Those are first level paragraphs. If we would have um, bullet points, you, we could have second level paragraphs, but here we have first level. I'll press OK. And you can see the animation did separate into three animations. So now, without doing anything, if I select Shift F5 and you are my audience and you say don't, I click and you say don't. Then you say grow up. I click, you say grow up and the animation flows one second after after one second. Of course, this is a horrible example. I don't want you to say it's a trap, grow up. But I want you to know that it is possible to make an animation like this for your audience that you can like make your slide more powerful or you can do something crazier like retro animations. I could click on this. I would select um, the blocky style. I would select a very short delay, like 0.3. And I would select the duration here. Play from, beep, 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 beep. And this could be a 
example retro style animation of course I would maybe double click here or I could select the color version it looks like that also a bit retro the duration was too short let me make it longer so this way you can make such animations in PowerPoint. There are a quite few variables and it's difficult to explain unless you work alone in this. But I hope this tutorial is a little bit enlightening that something like that is possible. Either prepare this for your audience or try to experiment with that in your presentations. Just keep in mind that something like this is possible and you can color text within PowerPoint. Thank you very much for listening. Sorry this is a long tutorial, but it's a kind of big and kind of difficult topic here to talk about this animation because it has so many options. Thanks once again and see you in other tutorials like that. Bye.